Hello and welcome back to another video. So if you are new to my channel, I am so happy to have you here. I love to talk all things capsule wardrobe, sustainable fashion, and a little bit of handbags and accessories. Basically, I am a bargain hunter and I love to have a wardrobe full of quality pieces that I cannot afford, but I get them all at a fraction of, a pr of the price by buying pre-loved. Hence why you'll see quite a few designer handbags in my collection, all of which are purchased secondhand and a majority of them are vintage. However, I do have a couple of bags that are not vintage, but I did get for an absolute bargain. So today I will be reviewing the Gucci Dionysus handbag. Now, if you are not new to my channel, hello again, and you've seen this bag so many times before. However, I have now had this bag for two years. It'll be two years this month. So I thought I would do a two year review because my opinions on this bag and my pros and cons have changed over time. And I feel as though when I look back at my first review video of this bag, um, I have some different opinions that I want to share with you. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the bag and why I decided to purchase this bag, the pros, the cons, and just my overall thoughts at the end. So to start off with, I purchased this bag as a gift to myself when I graduated university. I wanted a bag that had a chain strap, something that I didn't really have any dressy bags, to be honest, in my collection. I had a lot of black leather kind of handbag, great for running errands, kind of like my Gucci Soho disco bag, but nothing that really elevated an outfit and something that you could take out to dinner and would just be used for special occasions. So I thought I wanted to not only treat myself for the, um, my graduation, but a month after my graduation was my best friend's wedding and she, I was a bridesmaid as well. So I thought, oh, you know what? It would be great to have a bag just for those nice occasions because I just had a few nice occasions coming up. Plus I am 28 this year. I have a lot of friends kind of all getting married, engagement parties and a lot of beautiful events that I've been going to. And I really was looking to add a bag to my collection. Um, for that kind of thing because yeah like I said a lot of my bags are casual so once I started looking around I could I found a bunch of beautiful bags but I really did want one that could be dressed up and dressed down now I have a little bit of a grungy alter ego I don't know what it is but there is an element to my style where I like to look a little bit casual, a little bit grungy, a little bit cool, um, while well, I'm trying to anyway. And I thought that this kind of ticked all of those boxes. When you dress it up, it looks very elegant um, with the right outfit. And generally, I'm usually wearing a lot of kind of black slip dresses or deeper kind of tones, so this always goes great with those. But I thought it would also look really cool with a pair of denim shorts or jeans and a white t-shirt with some sneakers. So that is why I was on the hunt for this bag. Not to mention, it is timeless. It is is a timeless design um, and I wanted something that I could purchase and I wouldn't really have to add another bag like this to my collection for a really long time which I haven't so it has served its purpose in that way now this bag currently retails for 1580 Australian dollars which is quite a similar price to what it was retailing um, for at the time that I was looking so when I started looking on the pre-love market which by that I mean Facebook Marketplace, Depop and eBay. They were all retailing for around $1,000 and there were quite a lot of these on the pre-love market because they are a super mini bag and they don't suit everyone. This size is very small and so you will, if you are on the hunt for this particular bag or this kind of size, I would 100% look pre-love first <clears throat> because like I said, the size doesn't suit everyone. So there were quite a few and what I did was I ended up going on to Depop because I find Depop is just, it goes through PayPal so it's quite safe rather than Facebook Marketplace um, and I just found the whole process a little bit easier. Plus I'm such a Depop shopper that I felt like I was just familiar with Depop so I wanted to go down that route. So I messaged three different sellers that were selling this bag. All like I said, were around $1,000 and I offered each one of them $750. So totally lowballing it, but I just wanted, you never know what kind of situation the person is in. They might be in a rush to sell the bag. And I just thought, you know what, if I offer all three, I'm sure one person will either accept the offer or they'd be willing to negotiate. So one of the sellers, um, two of them completely rejected the offer. One accepted. However, she straight away messaged me and said, Hey, I am definitely keen to negotiate a price with you. However, I can't do it any lower than $800. So I was a little bit like, okay, 
could you do $800 including shipping and postage kind of, I don't know I'm always trying to negotiate and get a good price because to be honest if I don't get a good price straight off the bat I wasn't in a rush for the bag I can keep on looking so that was the max I was willing to pay was $800 and that I think that's the most I've ever spent on a designer handbag that I have in my collection but like I said it was a gift to myself so I was willing to do that plus um, just look at it like it's an absolutely beautiful bag and I do think it was worth the $800 so anyway I'm rambling now I got the bag for $800 with postage and I made sure that the postage was signed upon delivery um, and that it had insurance on it. It only cost a couple of dollars extra to have the bag insured. It was only insured for a couple of hundred dollars, but at least it was something. So we did all of that, negotiated over Depop, um, you know, made the exchange. Anyway, the handbag arrived at my door and I had to sign on delivery, which was fine because I was home. Now this bag came with the box, the receipt, the ribbons, the tags, literally everything. And the way it was wrapped was so beautiful. It was like I was getting a brand new handbag. So that's the background story as to how I purchased the bag. And the reason I wanted to include that in this video is because I wanted you guys to know what I paid for the bag, uh, just so it gives you guys an idea of what you may be able to purchase one of these bags for if you went on the pre-love market. So once I received the bag, I totally knew about the size and that it was a mini bag. I did, I've did. i never actually seen this bag in person but I watched a lot of YouTube review videos and they were very mixed reviews. If you are someone who is currently looking at this bag, I feel for you, I know what it's like. There's such conflicting reviews. It's almost 50-50 and at the end of the day, it ultimately comes down to your decision and how you're going to use the bag. So I was completely aware that it was quite small. It was only really gonna fit my phone, my car key, a couple of cards and maybe a lip balm. Um, so I've written down the pros and the cons just so I can stay on track because I don't want to ramble too much. Now I have quite a few pros and that is because I don't look at this bag um, to be the bag that needs to do everything and it needs to carry everything that I need. This bag I purchased for the purpose of being a going out bag, a dress up bag and potentially I might be able to dress it down if I really wanted to. But if it just held the things that I would need um, going out of a night time, then I was satisfied because I have multiple other bags that I can use for more practical purposes like my latest purchase, which is the beautiful vintage Gucci backpack. This is a running errands, fits your sunglasses case, a water bottle, everything you need. So if I needed a bag like that, I'd use that bag. So if you are someone who wants a bag to do a bit of an all-rounder, I would suggest going a size up. Um, because this is only going to fit, like I said, your phone, a car key, a couple of cards, and maybe your lip balm. It's not going to fit your sunglasses unless you have a very small pair of sunglasses. So it's not a very daytime bag. Um, okay, so I'll talk about the pros. The first one I have listed is that it fits my essentials of a nighttime. So my essentials during the day are completely different to the nighttime. At night, I, own, I don't need sunglasses, I don't really need a water bottle, I don't need all that stuff. I just need my phone. I'm going to put it in there just so you can see. You've probably watched a thousand of these um, videos of what fits, but I have my iPhone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. It is not the Max. Now it slides in, you will see a slight kind of bulge at the side, very, very slight, but it slides in like that. And you've still got a little room down the side. I then have, God, do I have everything in here? Just for the purpose of this video, I am going to put in there a little Chanel um, eyeshadow palette. My car key is about half this size. So it is a fob kind of style, but it's about the same thickness and everything um, as this. Sorry guys, my car keys are, Ryan's taken my car, so I don't have them with me at the moment. But as you can imagine, they're around this size and thickness. It slides in like that. And then, you know what, even if you did want to take a compact, you could easily slip your car key in there as well. And then, um, in terms of like bank cards, I don't put in here a card holder. I usually, you can if you want to, um, I usually just take out the cards and put them in here because I had a major epiphany with this handbag. 
don't treat this bag like a handbag treat it like a wallet on a chain put your key um, your cards and everything straight in like you would a wallet and everything fits beautifully and you have plenty of room to go in and out the moment you start treating it like a bag and you add things like an actual wallet or card holder is when it starts to get bulky so treat it just like a wallet on a chain everything you would need um, and yeah like I said there's still a bit of room in there so I'm going to shut the bag now when I am shutting the bag because it bulges out ever so slightly on the sides I don't know if you can kind of see that it is a little bit different like it's a two-handed motion it's not like slide it in and shut your bag kind of thing you've got to use two hands you've kind of got to maneuver it until you get it in the right spot um, so yeah I do use two hands with this bag I mean you could walk around and leave it open if you wanted to it's not like it completely opens up it stays quite close so if you did walk around with it slightly open that would be fine as well so that is everything in the bag guys look how beautiful this bag is when it's full like it's just darling like I love it I love how the bag looks on your side so another pro is the size in terms of looks I think the size, the fact that it's a super mini is just so cute, so dainty. I'm a lover of miniature things. Anything miniature, like little tea sets and little, um, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm just one of those people that like, likes miniature things. So when I saw this bag, it was almost like a miniature handbag and I just loved the look of it. Um, any bigger than this, I, I'm not even... I didn't even consider adding it to my collection because it completely changes the whole look of the bag. Now the third pro is the bag is very unique. Um, so again I'm talking about the appearance of the bag but in terms of the colouring and the way that they've used the gunmetal hardware with the beautiful monogram, you've got the tiger heads kind of here, I think they're tiger heads, you've got the beautiful um, suede material, I just love the whole combination of it, it seems like a lot of thought went into the design and look of this bag. Um, and it's so crazy how something can have so much detail and so many different elements yet still be timeless because usually a timeless kind of bag is something that's quite plain and minimal but I do find that this is quite timeless even though it has all of these elements so I love the uniqueness of it I haven't seen a bag like this from other brands another pro about this bag is that you can wear it multiple ways now I'm sure you've probably seen before you can wear it crossbody you can link the chain um, kind of so you just twist it and you loop it back through and you can have it as a shoulder bag which is totally in at the moment which I've actually worn a few times um, I've worn this bag as a shoulder bag so sorry I need to adjust those so a beautiful little shoulder bag um, like that is stunning that's like a whole different bag right there you've got the shoulder bag style and you've also got the bum bag style I don't wear it like that too often but it does look really nice you can now these bags should come with a clip inside where you can use the strap and use the clip to make it like a little um, waist belt kind of bag but my one I was aware of this too the um, the clip on the inside had been lost so mine doesn't have that but if you buy your second hand or brand new and you know that you want to wear it as a belt bag make sure that that little clip on the inside is included so you can wear it like that as well I don't really wear it as a belt bag I think it does look very very cute it would be great for a festival uh, if you want to elevate your outfit you're wearing like all black or all white and you just wanted to have like a little Gucci belt bag this would look great um, I've still been able to do it without the clip I kind of just because um, you can undo you can take the strap off so you can use these little loops and you can kind of um, tie it around your waist and I've done it that way um, fine without the clip so you can wear it multiple ways which is always a bonus and like I said the whole um, shoulder bag is something that I'm loving at the moment and another pro I wanted to talk about is the comfort of the bag this is a very soft kind of chain it doesn't dig in I know it doesn't have the leather part to sit on your shoulder but I don't find it slips off um, it's just a very comfortable kind of soft chain when I sit it on a table when I'm going out I don't find it slips and slides everywhere I don't know what it is but it's a really beautiful chain and I don't have any issues with it it's the perfect kind of width and size because I know that the chunkier the chain gets the more difficult it can be and I find that this chain is just a really beautiful size so they're the pros of it for me like I said it carries everything I would need because generally when I'm wearing it it is of an evening and I don't tend to carry much anyway so I have considered there have been multiple times where I have sat down and thought oh because 
if you've watched any of my videos before, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I, if I'm not using something, I sell it. I'm not someone who holds on to bags at all. If I don't use it, it's gone. Now, I have done a lot of handbag audits over the past few years, and I've looked at this bag almost every time and thought, should I sell it? Now, when I really think about it, the only reason I would ever consider selling it is because it doesn't get a lot of wear. Um, compared to my other bags but that is simply because it's an evening bag and I don't go out much <laughs> um, but when I do go to a wedding or I do have an event and I do wear this bag it is a showstopper I get compliments I love to wear it and it is nice especially when you have a little bit of a collection I think I only have about eight handbags but it is it's nice that not every bag is just a practical bag it's nice that I have one for special occasions it's like having a really beautiful pair of shoes or a really nice piece of jewelry that you only pull out um, every time you have a nice occasion. That is this bag for me. So it serves its purpose and if I was to sell it, I kind of imagine myself, if I was to sell it, what would I replace it with? It would be a bag that's very similar to this because I need one. I need to have one of these bags in my collection with a chain and the daintiness and the evening kind of style. So. I love this bag, I highly recommend it. Like I said, it all just comes down to um, what you're purchasing it for. So that will lead me on to the cons. I only have one con. And guys, let's be real, whenever you watch any review videos, pros and cons, it all just comes back to the one con, which is, it's small. Simple. So the size of it makes it difficult to fit everything you need in there, which can then make it difficult to reach in and out of and difficult to shut. It all comes back to the size. So the size is the con, but it's not going to, I mean, if I could, if it was a dream world, I would ask them to make it slight, maybe even just a centimeter, like not much bigger at all, but just enough where my phone would slip in and out. Right now you kind of got to push it in and push, you know, pull it out. Um, so that is the only thing. Um, but other than that, if you feel as though you can deal with the size of it, then that, yeah, like I said, that is the only con. And in saying that, I have worn this bag casually with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and some sneakers, but I would put my phone in my pocket. So that way I can fit a little pair of sunglasses, I can fit my cards and lip balm and things that I would need throughout the day, but I just keep my phone in my pocket. See, of an evening, I don't usually have a pocket to put my phone in, so I have to be able to fit it all in here, which it does quite well. But if, like I said, if I'm wearing it during the day, phone's in the pocket, this holds everything else and it's fine as well. So, you know, sometimes, yeah, it just depends on what you're wearing on the day. And if, but if you are someone that is looking at this bag to only wear throughout the day and to wear it more of that grungy kind of style, that casual look, then maybe I would consider looking at the size up from this because I think that you might just find it difficult to fit everything that you need. So they're the pros and cons of the bag. Now let's move on to wear and tear because like I said it has been two years so obviously there might be a little bit of wear and tear. Now there is none and like I said I don't wear it often but I do believe that even if I wore it heaps there still wouldn't be a lot of wear and tear for a couple of reasons. The um because the chain is gunmetal, if there are any scratches or anything, you wouldn't even notice them because the color of um, this hardware. So same with the little um, heads here. There's no scratches, no major marks. And even if there was, I don't think you would really be able to see them because of the color. If it was like a beautiful sh um, shiny gold, you might notice little scratches and um, imperfections because it is such a perfect kind of um, gold or silver. But yeah, with gunmetal, you hardly notice anything. Also with the canvas, very, very durable. If you've ever felt this material before, it's very tough. If you're out and about and you spill anything on it, um, very, very durable. So no issues at all with the canvas. Look at it, guys. There are just no, there is just no wear and tear anywhere. And because the bag, as you can see, the corners kind of sit up. When it's sitting on a table, it's sitting on these parts, which are quite durable, and the suede part, um, although suede can be quite delicate and you worry about getting it marked, it's not marked at all. One, because of the color as well, it's a deeper kind of tone, so um, you probably wouldn't be able to see it as much. But two, it doesn't get touched very often. So the suede is in perfect condition. Um, if you brush it all one way, you might be able to see it better. But yeah, there's no issues there. Um, on the inside, I have had 
colour transfer and that is my silly, silly rookie mistake. And that happened because I was out and about, I put my Gucci Marmont card holder on the table where I was having a coffee and there was a little bit of wetness on the table that I didn't even see and I thought, oh no, it's all wet. So I picked it up, it was all damp and I popped it straight back into my bag, which at the time I was using this bag. And I didn't even think that because the leather was wet of that card holder, there was color transfer. So that got all inside the bag. Look at that. You can even see the chevrons of the Gucci Marmont card holder. And look at the marks, guys. Like, absolutely devastating. One positive in that is that I bought this pre-loved. So I didn't pay full price. So little things like that, they may happen. I have kind of tried to get rid of that mark, but not hard enough. Other than that, absolutely no wear and tear. It's all leather here. There's no marks, really. Is there any marks? Oh, there's a couple of little indents and stuff, but nothing major, nothing noticeable. And other than that, it's all perfect. So two years and absolutely no wear and tear. If I was to do a listing of this, it would... I'd, you know, and you kind of identify where the, any issues are. There would be the discoloration on the inside from the stain. Other than that, there's there's no issues. It's not like there's any major scratches, no major marks or anything. There's no major um, peeling. So yeah, very, very durable handbag and has great wear and tear. So that is my review on this bag. I absolutely love it. I don't plan on selling it. Like I said, there were two major pivotal moments since owning this bag in the past two years that kind of changed my opinion about it. And the first one was... Um, obviously treating it like a wallet on a chain rather than a little handbag and two realizing that this bag serves its purpose and if I was to sell it from my collection I would be missing a bag like this because it is purely for an evening a nice dress up kind of bag so I love it I won't be selling it anytime soon and if you came to me and said Shannon I want to add this bag to my collection what are your thoughts the first question I would ask you is how would you wear it how are you going to style it what time of the day will you be wearing it um, because that ultimately is going to make your decision. So that's everything I really want to say about this bag. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to answer them for you. If you did find this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out more than you know, and I'm so grateful for every single person who chooses to click that subscribe button and support my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.